libraries have always been in the content game. Uh, you know, for a long time we've been known as the, the place where they had all the books. You know, but it, it was really about us just having content. And we're able now to, to help people locate a lot of the information that's out there on the web. Uh, before, I think it was easy for libraries to, to be almost like the gatekeeper almost of the information. I think universities have felt that way too. They were the information disseminators, right? Well now with the, with the web and the internet, everything's open and it's all out there. Um, and, and, and libraries right now, I think, and librarians specifically, I think have a big role in helping people to navigate that morass. People do learn and do research in different ways. There are some people who are incredibly visual, there are other people who are very text oriented and find things better in that way. We try to have it both ways. When we have some interfaces that are extremely visual and we have others that are, that are more textual. Um, and and I, I just think you need to have all of that. The problem with modern library and digital library systems and frankly the problem even with Google is that it's still a sort of one size fits all kind of interface. The question would be is course content development something that we want to get into? That's something I do want to get into. I mean that's something I want my staff to get into to helping faculty develop content. So they have a textbook, an open textbook, but it's not quite right. How do we help them make it right? And so, um, so for instance, I have a instructional designer. I have instructional designers on my staff. So those are the kinds of people who could work with a faculty member to say, all right, what do you want to do with this? Let's make sure that it's pedagogically sound, that it makes sense with your syllabus, and it makes sense with your assessments, and it's, you know, it's like designing an online course. So it's got to be kind of both grassroots and top-down. And so I'm involved with folks in our, um, our Center for Educational Innovation and our Academic Technology Support Services. And um, in working with them, um, so they're kind of, that's kind of top down. It's, it's kind of coming from our provost office. So the provost is interested in how she can create innovation in the classroom, but also how can we streamline support to those faculty across different units on campus. So the, I'm working with those partners. I think that librarians are critical partners in this yeah. initiative. Um, definitely their knowledge of content and in finding materials is very valuable. I think their knowledge of copyright is also valuable. Um, I think their role in marketing. Um, as libraries, I say we are one of the hubs of the campus. So we did market through our library website. Um, we used all of our different mechanisms to get the word out through the library. Um, so I, I think that's another huge role for the libraries around marketing.